Okay, so today I'm going to do an instructional video for you all, just to show you the procedure of getting on your horse when you arrive, um, and hopefully to show you how you're going to be able to do your own stirrups and girth, um, make it a little bit easier for you when we can't do them for you. So your horse will be brought out for you from the stable to the block, and it will have already had its stirrups run down and the girth tightened ready for you to get on. And as the customer, we would ask you to be standing on the block ready so that um, the staff member bringing the horse out doesn't have to get too close. So I'm going to go and do that now and John's going to bring Stilton out for me. Okay, so first thing you need to do is pick your reins up. Um, so that you've got control of your horse. You can also grab a little bit of mane as well if they've got a mane. In order to stop your um, saddle slipping, normally the instructor holds the other side. They're not going to be able to do that. So it's good to get hold of the other stirrup leather so that you can pull down with it. Um, you're going to then pop your foot into the stirrup on this side. Try not to put your toes into them. Lift up, swing your leg over, and sit down gently and then pop your foot into the stirrup you've got control of your horse at this point John is now going to move away and we're going to ask Stilton to move from the block now the first thing we need to do is make sure our girth's tight enough so that we don't fall off the side so you can check it obviously you can see that's quite loose leg forward Saddle flap up, you can hold it with the thumb of your other hand if you like, but do not let go of your reins, very important. And only go up one hole at a time, okay, so that you're not pinching them. In this case, it's still quite loose, so we can go up another hole. Sorry, Stilton. And you'll find, if you try to go again, you won't be able to, it'll be too tight. It is important you don't make them too tight and make it uncomfortable for the horse. You check again, you should be able to just get your fingers underneath, but you shouldn't be able to pull the girth far away. I'm going to show you how to do your stirrups two ways. I'm going to show you the correct way, and then I'm going to show you the easier cheats way. So the correct way, you keep your foot in the stirrup, lift your leg up, and pull the buckle away from the top. These stirrups at the moment are too short for me, so I'm going to make them longer. So sliding down a couple of holes, and get hold of the back piece of leather and pull down to pull the buckle back up to the top. Okay. And then on the other side, I'll show you how to do it, uh, the cheats way to do it. Okay, so this time I'm gonna take my foot out. It's important that you keep your other foot in the stirrup while you do this. Pull the buckle up. Adjust it. We're going down, pull the back strap down, and then put your foot back in. Okay? So you might find that's the way you have to start, but you should work towards trying to do it the correct way. So if I go to make it shorter again, lighten my leg, go up a couple of holes, pull the back piece, and then we've made it shorter again. Are you ready to ride? Double check your girth again in case your horse has let all its air out. Very important for some of the school horses, so they're quite good at that. And then you're ready to go. You'll notice at no point during that whole procedure did I let go of my reins. Very important, because although they are quiet, if you let go of your reins, you saw he put his head down, easy for them to fall over his head and then you've got no control. Okay, hopefully we'll see you all soon.